Welcome back to Ziamajak with Ashwood Asylum. It's not really my favorite map, but it's an okay map. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's okay. I like it. It's okay. It's all right. It's acceptable. It meets the bare minimum standards of uh, quality that I expect from a, a map in Killing Floor 2. It actually meets uh, and exceeds. It meets and exceeds the minimum level of uh, quality that I expect from a, uh, a Killing Floor 2 map. Some maps don't quite meet the, uh, the expected, expected quality, like Farmhouse. It doesn't quite meet it. Sometimes you're not looking for something that meets your expectations. Sometimes you're just looking for McDonald's. Not that farmhouse is even as good as McDonald's. I don't know. It's bad enough. It kind of falls apart at the uh, at the uh, at the end there. But <laughs> some sometimes you're not looking for the greatest thing. You're just looking for uh, you know a little a little something to to hold you off. You know, and that's sometimes that's what. Uh, it is. You got uh, like a nightmare. It definitely doesn't meet the burn at the minimum standards of quality that I expect from a map. Although it does kind of meet the minimum level of quality, it doesn't meet the. Uh, it doesn't meet the maximum level of spiders. You know, there's a maximum level of spiders, and it's one. And uh, it has too many. It's a, it meets and exceeds the maximum level of uh, of uh, of spiders in a uh, in a map, and I don't want that. I don't like spiders. I was traumatized when I saw that spider. I was in a bad place in my life at the time anyway, but it messed me up, man. It messed me up real bad when I saw that spider. It's on video. You can go back and watch it. It's a terrible video, but it, uh, it really showcases the uh, the point in my life that we, that I was at at the time and the uh, the suffering that I have to put up with on a day-to-day -day basis as a, as a bearer. Uh, no, actually, you know what? We're gonna sell that and we're gonna pick up a single rhino because I can't afford two anymore. That's okay. <laughs> One rhino is okay. One rhino is fine. We'll take it. It's okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's okay. I watch. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTubers, right? I watch. Uh, I don't. You know, I don't watch too much of it anymore. Hello. I don't watch too much of it anymore, but. Uh, I am subscribed oh, yeah. to a uh, great number of YouTubers. You know, Mr. Beast actually just uploaded a, uh, you know, giving away a million subscribers thing where uh, they had four YouTubers come on and then uh, they had to do a challenge thingy and then they got uh, a million subscribers. Well, they uh, they got a shout out on Mr. Beast's channel, which is typically about a million subscribers or so. Um, but. Uh, I, I, I look at this right and I'm like I don't know is it is that even gonna be good for your channel like it has to be right it has to be good but is it the, the right kind of good is it the kind of good that you want because how many of those subscribers like you got say is that like 1.7 million the winner of that uh, I'm not gonna give him a shout out because I don't personally like his content um, but you can go and check out Mr. Beast's channel Clearly, I do like Mr. Beast's content. I like it sometimes. Sometimes it's garbage, but sometimes it's also good. That one was a, uh, it was a fun one. I like the personalities on it, not the one that won. <laughs> the one that won disappoints me a little bit. Wish I knew the uh, the channels of the other guys, but you know, hey, such is life. Such is life. Um. Uh. Anyway. Is it good for your channel? Like you get, like, he's got like 1.7 million subscribers or something like that, right? You you, you get like just oh, shot up with uh, with all these subscribers. Um, is that good for you? Is that is that a is that success? You know, like is that where you want to be? Is that what you want to do? I don't know. Because how, how many of those guys are gonna be uh, continuing to watch your channel, right? Like after. After you've gone through all of the, uh, we're gonna buy armor and grenades here, and we're not gonna buy armor and grenades again, uh, to hopefully get enough money to afford, uh, I really don't want to be down here. Break time's over. Um, like, how many of those people are gonna be sticking around and, and watching your future videos, you know what I mean? Like, probably not nearly 1.7 million of them. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure how many of them it'll be, but it'll, it'll almost certainly not be that many. When you get like these these, these huge insurgencies of, uh, of subscribers like that, they don't they don't watch your videos. They they subscribe because the person they like was like go subscribe or uh, or I'm gonna I'm gonna get you you know. And then they subscribe and they're like yeah but like I don't I, I want to watch Mr. Beast instead you know what I mean like 
So you get 1.7 million subscribers, and then you have... It's kind of like the, the situation that I'm in with uh, having like a bunch of subscribers and then not having any views. It's kind of the same thing, and I think that would be demotivating. But like, surely... I don't, I, I, don't, I don't watch this con I don't like this content. I think this content's not that great. I don't like that kind of content, you know? It's the... It's the kind of, uh... Like, live... Um... You know, doing dumb things kind of content that, that I just... Personally, not my kind of cup of tea. I mean, it's what Mr. Beast does, except Mr. Beast also kind of, like, gives away a ton of money, which makes it fun. <laughs> for me, personally. Um... But, uh... You know, surely there'll be some number of people that are like, Oh, hey, actually, I like this guy. I'll watch it, you know? Like, his content's probably, if you like that kind of content, fine. Right? I assume that Mr. Beast would have put in some quality control for bringing over the YouTuber. Somebody that he would personally feel fine about uh, um, putting his, like, name on. You know what I mean? Um... So I'm sure that there's some minimum level of quality to the YouTubers that were uh, that were competing for this, but that was the last one. I don't know. Just uh, like ultimately, you're probably gonna end up with with at least like forty, fifty thousand views on your channel if you get like two or three million subscribers from it, which is like enough to survive for sure. That's enough to to make you a living on it, definitely. Um, Turns out it's true. Blood is but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would even want that, because it, it would just feel like demotivating. It would be it would be such a a hit to your like ego to have like two million to know to know that like two million people have come to your channel, checked you out, subscribed, and then been like, actually, I don't want this content. I don't like you. You know what I mean? Like it would just it would hurt. It would hurt. I think it would hurt. I uh, I think it's uh, it's a double edged sword kind of thing, you know, where. Uh, you're either gonna, you know, if your content happens to line up with the majority of the uh, the people of what the pe the majority of people want, then uh, then you're gonna be fine, and uh, you're gonna be living the the sweet life. If it doesn't, then uh, you're gonna you're gonna realize uh, real quick um, that uh, you're not good enough to have that kind of an audience. You know what I mean? That you're not quite at that point yet, and I think that growing naturally is uh, is. Uh, more beneficial for you, personally, I think. I, I talk, I say this after uh, like a few days ago, and I was like, "Yeah, it'd be sweet to get a shout out by like a or like a raid by a, by a larger streamer." You know what I mean? But I don't know. Raids are different to me. Raids are different. You know, like raids are like, "Hey, go check this person out and subscribe if you like them." It's not even mentioning to subscribe. It's just like, go check them out, watch their videos. It's not like sending millions of people over to. Uh, the person and being like, yeah, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. You know, not nothing else. Just subscribe. You know what I mean? So it's just uh, to me, it's it's a it's a different kind of uh, situation. But I've never experienced being uh, smacked with a million subscribers. You know, maybe it feels amazing. Maybe it's like, oh my god, I just like I just made I just hit the jackpot. You know, I don't know. It's never happened to me. But I saw the video today and uh, made me made me think about. Uh, whether I would even want that as a YouTuber, you know? A million subscribers is, is a lot, you know? And it's not even just a million subscribers, it's, you know, a shout out on Mr. Beast's channel, which is more than a million subscribers, definitely. And I'm like, I don't know, would, would I would I want that? Would would I want that kind of, uh, would I want that kind of audience? Would I want that kind of uh, subscriber base? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not a situation I'm ever gonna have to think about, you know? It's not a situation I'm ever gonna have to actually come up with a uh, an answer that I'll be happy with you know Cause it's uh, it's never gonna happen to me it's never I'm never gonna be you Mr. Beast is never gonna call me up and be like hey you want to come on, uh, on my channel and I would definitely not do it um, <laughs> even if he did because like I just I don't want to be flown out and I don't want to be um, and I want to have to like uh, do a challenge or something like that like I'm just I'm completely uninterested in the entire idea of doing that even if it, like it could be like yeah come out here and get like a million dollars like I just I don't want to I, I don't want to do that I, I have zero interest in uh, in that I can't upgrade this oh cool okay sure 
So, I don't know. It's uh, But if, if it was like, hey, Mr. Beast calls me up and it's like, hey, you want to shout out? Like, I don't know what my answer would be. But it's never going to happen. He's, n he's never going to do that. That will never happen. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody with like 3 million subscribers, 10 million subscribers, 20 million subscribers, whatever. Nobody's going to do that to me. It's never going to happen. Not until I'm also, you know, equally big. And they're like, hey, you want to do uh, wanna do some collabs? You know? And then, then maybe, you know, we go and do some collabs for fun or whatever. But, like, it's not... It's not something that's gonna happen. It's not uh, self-degrading. It's just uh, <laughs> like it's not gonna happen. That doesn't that doesn't happen to you. So, uh, but I don't know. I like thinking about these kinds of hypotheticals when they pop up in my mind. I like to think about uh, what my decision would be if uh, if I were thrust into such a uh, situation. Anyway, not to prepare for the situation, but just as a uh, just have to pass the time. You know, a lot of people have uh, have issues with patience with. Uh, being able to sit around and wait, and I think that the issue is uh, that you're just not able to to think about things that just don't quite matter so much, you know? I think that, uh, that patience is being able to entertain yourself. I think I've talked about this before, um, but patience is, uh, isn't about being able to wait around and be bored for a while, it's about being able to entertain yourself with the simplest of things, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, contemplating, good god. I think that contemplating a, uh, meaningless idea, concept that pops in your mind, you know, a thought that you had in the shower is, uh, is a perfectly good way to pass the time. And what is KF2 more than, uh, me passing the time out loud? <laughs> so, I don't know, I pop it on and I think about things and I just kind of talk about it, you know. I had a stream in 45 minutes. I think I might have time for another KF2 video after this. I might have time. I want to go do some RuneScape, though. I really want to play some RuneScape. I mean, I can't until after the stream. But I want to play some RuneScape. I did not get a chance to. So we did uh, a boss duo with a, with a buddy of mine the other day. And uh, we, got a, we got a big drop, but it wasn't selling. So uh, he was like, yeah, I'll just sell it overnight or whatever and then uh, get back to you. I, just, I haven't seen him since. He hasn't been online and I haven't had time to... It's just it hasn't it hasn't lined up, you know. It hasn't lined up, so I've been able to get my I've been able to get my money. Where's my money? But uh, and then the funny thing is he's online right now. You know, he he just messaged me and was uh, like a few hours ago, and it's like, hey, I got your I got your money. You know, if whenever you have time to come take it, come get it. And I'm like, yeah, I'll have time in like five hours because <laughs> I'm busy. I'm really busy. And so, you know, at that point, you might be off having dinner or whatever, and then I'll be having dinner, and then maybe he's asleep or whatever. But I think I'll be able to see him tonight, maybe. I mean, school's starting for a lot of people, too. Even, uh, even if you're not in, you know, high school or whatever, colleges and universities and all these, they're starting to, to make a, a racket with uh, with their students' time now. People are busy. People got time and uh, got, you got things to do. You got uh, responsibilities. You got... Things to things to do. You got things to do. That's all. There, this is a strong uh, thing there. So I don't know if he has school or whatever, but a few people get jobs in September as well. Like lots of people getting jobs, especially now. So, you know they might have lost their job with COVID, and now they're getting their job back or whatever. And yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hill. It's all good in the hood. It's like a 40 mil or whatever that he owes me, at, like 38 mil I think. I don't know. It's nothing. Well, it's not nothing, but it's. If I don't get it for a week or two, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm fine. I mostly feel bad for him because he has to hold on to the money. It's always uh. It's kind of like I lent him some money, you know, and he has to he has to pay me back now, and I'm like, yeah, like just uh, just hang on to the money until I see you next, and uh, it'll be good. Um, but I feel bad for him because he, he has to hold on to the money and then like uh, pay attention to, to how much money he has to make sure that he can pay me back if I'm ever online and asking for it and whatever. I usually just buy uh, like some amount of uh, of stuff that I can uh, like sell to sell to like the general store, like guaranteed value that uh, that I can go sell somewhere. Um, and then just store that in my bank, and then whenever I see them, I just hand them that, and I'm like, yeah, go dump it in a store. <laughs> There's your money. Um, faster, faster. 
buy some spirit shards or something like that. They're uh, they're guaranteed value of 25 GP each, so you know. So that's fine. It's fine, dude. That's typically what I do, but uh, I do feel bad for him because it is annoying when somebody's not picking up their split and somebody's not picking up their uh, their their money. It is it is frustrating because you you're like, well, when are they gonna pick it up? Do I like if I spend this money, am I gonna have the time to to get it back before they ask for it? Like, I don't know. So I'm just not going to, and then they don't pick it up for a week, and you're like, well, I guess I could have like invested it, but then what if I invested it and then they asked for it back? I don't know. And then you're like. I don't know, it's just, it's just this constant, like, stressing about it, for me personally, anyway. Maybe, maybe I overthink things too much. I know that I'm prone to do that. I know that I am prone to do that. I have, uh, I have definitely overthought things in the past. I mean, who hasn't, you know? Who hasn't overthought things? I stepped on you, that's right. How? Really? Bro. You wanna be a little bit nicer to me for once in your life? Like... I love these these things like bum, 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 bum. I don't have my uh, I don't have my 25 perk yet. We're gonna get it soon. It's coming up real soon. We're almost 25 again. 25 gold gunslinger. Ooh wee! It's quite the accomplishment, I think. We don't have the rest of them at gold yet. We'll uh, we'll get there eventually. I mean, we're gonna be playing KF2 on this channel for like years to come, man. It's gonna be tens of thousands of episodes. Uh, my uh, the guy I was doing for the contracting for the uh, the guy contracted for the uh, the thumbnails. He was like, yeah. He showed me one uh, one iteration of his uh, of his design for it, and uh, it didn't have space for for four digits. It's like, like whenever uh, whenever you get there, I can just add in the uh, the space for the fourth digit and uh, kind of expand it. And I'm like, oh no, there's gonna be like five digits eventually. Like you're gonna have to. It's, it's gonna have to be infinitely expandable here, at least to five digits, you know? Because we will, we will definitely get to 10,000 episodes eventually. I mean, how many days away is 10, or how many, well, how many days away is 10,000 episodes? Well, let's see, this is 282, so, uh, maybe this is 283? I don't know. I don't remember how many episodes I've recorded today. Um, but, uh, it's like, you know, 9,000... Like 720 or something like that, right? But uh, how many years is that? How many years does that uh, does that actually amount to? You know, 365 days a year, 720 days in two years, which would be like 20 years and 7,200 episodes. And then you got like another 2,800 days, which is going to be like seven more years. So like it's about uh, 27 years or so. 27 years, we're going to be getting to the 10,000. 10,000 mark. I hope I'm still making videos in ten th in uh, in 27 years. I hope I'm still making these videos then. You know, you guys will be coming with me through uh, through all of my life as I as I learn and grow and experience new things. I mean, by that point, maybe we're playing like KF5 or something, but it'll be uh, KF2. It'll be KF2. Maybe I play KF2. Maybe they release KF5 and I'm still playing. I'm still sitting back here like, ah, well, you know, KF2 was really the... That was really the golden age for me. No, we'll definitely play the, the new Killing Force. I don't know if we'll stick with them, though. I don't even know if we'll get them. Because, like, okay, what are you what are you going to do in a KF3? Like, how are you going to improve on KF2? It's already, like, perfect. You know, like, what are you, you going to do? Add some new weapons? Like, just add new weapons to KF2. You going to make stuff look better? Just add new models to KF2. Like, it's already at the point where I don't think the engine is ever going to have problems with it, personally. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I think I think that uh, that ultimately we're going to be sitting at, like, iterations of KF2, you know, games as a service kind of thing. At uh, the end game, 27 years from now, I'll probably, be paying a, I'll probably be paying a subscription to play, like, Killing Floor. If Killing Floor is, like, even still a thing. Like, Tripwire might not even be around at that point. Who knows, dude. 27 years is a long ways away. It's longer than I've lived in my entire lifetime. By uh, about two years. <laughs> but close. So it's definitely, it's, definitely, uh, it's definitely longer than I've lived. It's over twice my life away. I'll be like uh, 52 at that point. It'll happen though. It'll happen. 
I want to be sitting in my uh, my fifties, sitting in a in an office somewhere, talking about uh, I don't know what 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 what'll we be talking about in the year like twenty forty seven. What are we what are we gonna be talking about in twenty four twenty forty seven? Trying to think up topics for twenty forty seven. Okay, we'll probably have uh, probably be married at that point, right? I hope. And if I'm not married by that point, somebody kill me. Um, probably be married at that point. You think you are somehow better? Um, probably talk about something dumb my husband did. There's something here. You know, just can't see it. Like, uh, oh, my husband, you wanted air conditioning, you know? Come from over there, do I see? Where are you, buddy? I'm not scared of you. I'm trying to find you so I can kill you. I cannot hit for the life of me. You know, like, uh, man, you know, we, we wanted the air conditioning. I talked, you know, it's getting a little bit hot out here, you know, global warming and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's like 78 degrees Celsius out here now. And we're talking about getting some air conditioning upgraded because our current air conditioning, it's not doing so high. You know, we get the temperature down to about 42 degrees. It's livable, it's manageable, you know, but. We gotta get it down to a little bit more, you know, something a little bit more comfortable, maybe maybe 33 or so. And uh, so he, he was gonna he was gonna do it himself, right? He, was, he wanted to he wanted to upgrade it himself. And uh, he was up in the attic, right? And you'd think at this point in time, you know, it's 24, it's 2047. Like, come on, guys, you know, you you think they could have a, a better way to build houses, but uh, nope. He was up in the attic. He stepped on the drywall. Is it on the ceiling? You know, and well, down, down through the hole. So we made this giant hole in our in our ceiling. He just fell right through. He stepped on it. Missed like missed one of the beam things up in the attic. I don't really spend much time in the attic. You know, there's like spiders up there and stuff. <laughs> anyway, that's what I assume I'll be doing when I'm 50. You know, but I'll, I'll sound better or different or weirder. Who knows? I'm feeling there's your there's your there's your sneak peek. Spoiler alert. You know. Guess you shouldn't watch, you know, episode ten thousand, because you've already you've already seen it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I hope I'm still sitting here recording back uh, way up, way up there. That'll be sweet. Way 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 away from like twenty forty seven, man. It'll be be cool recording uh, some KF two way uh, way in the future. It'll be nice. It'll be fun. Any hoozle. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.